Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker. Thank you for joining me today. Today I want to show you how I created a card for a baby shower and this is a very interesting theme for a baby card. To start I'm using soft navy cardstock from Simon Says Stamp and I taped that to the back of a stencil. This stencil is the mini staggered circles stencil from My Favorite Things and I'm going over that with transparent gloss texture paste from Ranger. While that was still wet, I took the stencil off of the paper very carefully and I made sure to wash the stencil and my palette knife right away. Next I created a background for my shaker. Now I have a piece of Arches Cold Press watercolor paper here. Honestly, I probably should have used Canson watercolor paper because I am doing such a simple background and this Arches paper is a little bit more pricey. But I'm just adding a little bit of gray watercolor, very messy style. I wanted that really watercolor look. And I made sure to really wet down the paper before I added that paint. I took a couple of colors of aqua pigment paint from Brutus Monroe. These are the colors silver and pearl, and I'm using a very small paintbrush in order to splatter some of that paint onto the background. I took out the Me and My Dragon stamp set from Mama Elephant, and I'm stamping one of those dragons onto some Bristol smooth paper with Gina K Designs Jet Black Amalgam Ink. I used the Bristol Smooth Paper because I'm going to be coloring in this dragon with my Arteza Real Brush pens. The kind of paper that you use for these markers is very important. You will not get the same results if you're using other kinds of paper. You can use them on watercolor paper if you use different techniques, but if you want to color the way that I'm coloring in this video, it's very important that you get Bristol Smooth Paper. I only used three colors for this dragon, and those colors are Parma Gray, Light Skin, and Denim Blue. Now, the reason that I'm putting a dragon on this baby card is because my sister-in-law had her baby shower, and the nursery theme that she's using for her little boy is dragons, which I think is really cool. I was so excited to be able to pull out this stamp set again. I don't know how many of you have been around since I first started this channel, but this is one of the first stamp sets that I ever bought. And so I was really excited to use it because it's kind of a special stamp set to me. For the coloring process, I usually like to add color to the darkest areas, and then I take a brush with a little bit of water on it and I blend out that color so that it gradually gets lighter in all of the other areas. And then I'll keep building on that until I'm happy with the depth of color. I do have a video from a while back where I go over my entire coloring process with these markers very thoroughly, so I'll put a link to that up in the tag in case you want to check that out. After finishing up with the Arteza markers, I decided that I also wanted to use my Prismacolored pencils on this image. The first thing that I did is I took my white colored pencil and I added an even more intense highlight on the wing. And then I decided that I wanted the blue on this dragon to be even more bright. So the way that I did that is I took this light blue colored pencil and I went over the entire body. And I really like the way that color turned out afterwards. Finally, I took a yellow pencil and I added even more color to the wings to brighten them up as well. Now because I was using Prismacolored pencils, the lines on my stamped image got a little bit dull from the wax, so this is why it's great to have a misty so I can stamp right on top of that colored in image and darken up those lines. I wanted to add some more detail to that background that I made earlier, so I took out some star stamps from the Wish Upon a Star stamp set from Mama Elephant, and I'm stamping a bunch of those onto that background with fog ink from Simon Says Stamp. I picked out two oval dies from the Nested Hero Arts oval die set, and I taped them onto a piece of Nina cardstock. I'm going to be cutting those out in order to create the frame for my shaker. And then I also cut out another oval out of some acetate, and I glued that onto the back of the frame. I went around that frame with some doubled up foam tape, and then I started to fill my shaker area. Now for my shaker, I'm using some clear star glitter, some silver star glitter, and then moonshine sequins from Simon Says Stamp. 
I closed up that shaker with the background that I made earlier, making sure to press down really well on all of that foam tape so that nothing can get out. And then I took some scissors and I cut around the edge of that oval so that the background is only showing through the shaker. At this point, the texture paste panel was dry and you can see all of those clear circles on it. It creates a really nice texture. I'm adhering that panel onto a piece of Gina K Designs in the navy cardstock, which is cut to be A2 size. And then I used my connect glue in order to adhere the shaker onto the front of that entire panel. I used the Hero Arts nested cloud die set to cut this cloud out of some white cardstock. I'm adhering that onto the front of my shaker. This creates a nice area for my dragon to sit. And I'm also adhering that dragon. And I used my Gina K Designs Connect glue in order to glue those onto the acetate. Next, I used my tape runner in order to adhere that entire panel onto a card base. As it is right now, this card is not really seeming like a baby card, so the sentiment is what really makes this a baby card. Now, I own exactly one baby-themed stamp set. I don't make a lot of baby cards. So I pulled out that stamp set, which is the Bundle of Joy stamp set from Pink and Main, and I took the stamp from that which says Bundle of Joy, and I stamped it with Versamark ink onto some fog gray cardstock. I embossed that with sterling silver embossing powder from Brutus Monroe, cut it down into a strip, and then I adhered it on the side of my shaker. To finish up the card, I took my white gel pen and I just added a few dots along the back and on the head of the dragon, just for some more detail, and then this card is all done. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you really enjoyed this card design. I hope it really showed you how you can take your non-baby themed stamps and turn them into a baby themed card. All of the supplies that I used can be found in the description down below. And remember that anytime you click on one of those links, you're helping to support my channel at no extra cost to you. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.